Hello everybody, my name is Hayden, and welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. In last episode, we got our identity stolen by the ghost, whoever his name is. And now, everyone in the town is back to normal, so let's talk to some people. Oink, 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 oink. I'm practicing for pre-time. If I go to the swine side, I'm going to be more positive. There's no more pig curse? You're kidding. Could you give me some time alone? I guess the guy really wants to be a pig, huh? What about this lady? You ought to move in here. A shadow like you, you'd fit right in. Know what I mean? Uh, what? A guy with a red cap and some blue overalls? That sounds familiar. Come on, Brain. Oh yeah, that's Mario. He's this adventurer who saved our village. Are you an adventurer too? I like adventures. You know, people often say that my shadow is faint. But yours is really something. I mean, you are a shadow. No offense or anything. We're free! Yes! We're no longer pigs! I say yoink, no more oink. I just want to sing. Please do not sing. Oh my god. What? Uh, Gonzalez, what's up with you lately? You're kind of freaking me out. I mean, I'm all for acting like a complete loon, but it's not exactly in your character. Um, uh, Mario, you, you seem kind of different. I mean, you're sort of like the, the life of the party now, so I, I guess that's cool. My, 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 Mario, you're rather dramatic of late, aren't you? To be honest, dear, I rather enjoyed your quiet dignity and strength of character. Boy, Mario, you sure got chatty all of a sudden. I mean, you, like, never talk. Oh, well, I guess it's not too totally weird or anything. Oh, thank you, thank you. We owe you so much, Mario. Please take this as a token of our thanks. Eat up. Hey, ha, whoa, he, wow, look at me, look at me, it's a me, Mario. Wah ha ha Hey, you totally sound like Mario, bud. Alright, well, I guess we kind of caught up with the village. Everyone seems to be really into our imposter, so that's no good. Let's uh figure out what we need to do to get our body back. I guess the best way to do it is to figure out the guy's name, so um, perhaps we should go to Creepy Steeple, because maybe, I mean, that's where he lived for a while. Hey, what's up, Slick? Been waiting for you. I would have done this back in town, but that wouldn't have looked very good, would it? So, this is the one who stole your name and body? Hmm, he looks sort of familiar to me. Alright, can the chatter. Here's the deal. You get your chance, then I stomp you. If you guess my real name, then you get your body and name back. Fire away, no name. Um. Uh, let's do... Wilbur. Yeah, let's do Wilbur. That's probably his name. Actually, we have to fill up the spot, so it's Wilbur. Yep, that's it. Rangamundo, little nobody. Who'd name their kid that? Prepare for doom, Slick. <laughs> and don't even think about running from battle here. No running. Well, hate to break it to you, but I'm a rule baker. I'm a rule breaker, buddy. Not a rule baker. All right. There we go. Aw, that's no fun. He must have been hiding there in ambush, waiting for you to show up. Well, forget him. Let's go get your name back. Alright, well, let's ch let's test out Vivian, Vivian, Vivian's abilities, because she might be helpful. Um, let's see. So I'm going to do a multi-bounce. And then Vivian... We'll do Shade Fist. Three damage. Okay. But you light him on fire, which is really good. Light Sharon. Okay. So, that guy revived himself. Hmm. I'm trying to think. How should I approach this now? 
I can do a normal bounce on him. And then I will Shade Fist again. There we go. And now he's powered up. So if I don't beat him this time, he's going to do a ton of damage, which is fine because all I have to do is stomp on him. There we go. Alright. I'm probably just going to avoid most of the uh, encounters from now on because... It gets so tedious going back and forth and doing all the battles and stuff. Just gotta get to the meat of the meat of the game, you know. I kind of last time I played this, I or I, I guess the first time I played this, I um, didn't really like reading a lot of the dialogue. Oh, there's a star piece. Um, so I skipped basically everything and just kind of you know focused on the major plot points. And I'll tell you, doing this let's play and reading everything out, it's actually like really helpful to get the story more cuz like most of the dialogue in this game is pretty extraneous like unless you there's like a puzzle that you need to solve most of it's pretty useless I'm gonna do a spin bounce which does 8 damage overall do a little bit of a shade fist and there we go oh we got a stylish nice Oh, shoot. Cause I was just randomly hitting A. I don't know why I got a stylish. <laughs> I think the way that it works is if you... Yep, okay. So if you hit A right after a move, then you get a stylish. Which is pretty cool. I don't think it does anything except make the audience enjoy it more. So I'll probably just start doing stylish moves for everyone. Pretty cool. Um, I don't want to battle you. Okay, there you go. Actually... Hey, it works. It's like, where'd they go? I wanted to beat them up. There we go. See, Vivian, I like Vivian's mechanic for, like, hiding under stuff. Because it, it, the, all the puzzle solving with Vivian's very, like, you have to kind of think smart. Like, a, a lot of times in Paper Mario, I find... Oh, shoot. It's like Paper Mario and, like, Mario and Luigi... Where it's like, when you run into a problem and you get stuck, all you have to do is go through your list of partners and go through your list of abilities, and one of them is bound to get you through it. Or you're just being stupid, which is usually what I run into. I'm gonna run away, I think. Is that what I should do? Actually, I wanna, I wanna get some stylish moves just to see if I can do them. Yeah, ooh, that's cool. Oh, that's not cool. <laughs> Alright, now let's run away. Because, I mean, we have enough coins that it really doesn't matter how much I run away and how much I battle. But I, I, I never realized that's how you get stylish moves, is just by hitting A right after you, uh... Um... Right after you perform an attack. Alright, so let's save. And I think... We have to go down into this well, because we've already kind of explored Creepy Steeple at length. Oh, there's a buzzy beetle. And since I don't think we've scanned him... Oh! I can't scan anything. That sucks. Aw. Cumbella's gone. I took her for granted. Aw, that's kind of sad. Alright. So, I'm pretty sure the next room has, like, eight buzzy beetles. But all the buzzy beetles have, like fights that are like oh god damn oh I see how we're doing this oh, this is this there's no way to dodge all of those unless you like really took the time to do it or you just didn't want the item box really how high is his defense what the hell I'm gonna appeal darn it um, I guess we'll just do a power smash, because this guy apparently has, like, fucking three defense. Yeah, he must. That's super high. <laughs> I don't even know why I appealed. There's, like, no point to it. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, wait, I have an idea. If we run away from this guy... 
uh, we can just grab it. Tornado stomp. And then we can go without needing to fight him. I'm a smart, I'm a smart cookie. Alright, um, tornado stomp, I think, just, uh, like, hurts an enemy and then it deals additional damage to all aerial enemies, I think. Something like that. Alright, got a shine sprite. Save the game. And do our little rolly up thing. And now I think we're in some sort of secret area, creepy steeple. With a breakable floor. Alright. Let's see what's around here. I see a little opening over here. Hey, there's a bird. Vivian was talking about trying to get information for birds. Mr. Softener. Power Plus. What? No way. That's the one. That's the one that made me super overpowered earlier. I can stack them. The letter P. Oh, that that was the letter P that was missing in the alphabet to spell dupli uh, to spell the ghost's name. A key that opens the door to some room. Stupid key. Um. But no, that's gonna be insane. If we have two power pluses, that's gonna. Oh my god. Uh, let's sort by types. Yeah, if I get two power pluses and the power plus P, oh my gosh, that'll be so valuable. Good morning, good morning. Pretty bird, pretty bird. No? Really? I thought, I thought that the bird would... I thought that's what Vivian was saying, is if we hide long enough, then the bird will, like, talk? Hello? Huh. I'm trying to think. How did we do it? No, that that's... I'm pretty sure that's definitely what we're supposed to do. Oh, right here. Shine get, shine get. Shine get, shine get. Okay, that's what he says. Scrock? What happened to those weirdos that were just here? Ah, whatever. It was almost nice to have some company. I mean, no matter how important it is that no one knows his real name. Locking me up in here just because I know it. Making me guard the name's stupid missing letter. No way to treat a parrot. I really want a cracker. Dupless, you're a big meanie. When's feeding time, huh? Oh, it says his name's Dupless. <gasps> Scrap whack! Uh, pretty bird, pretty bird. Yeah, I gotcha. Got him. Um. Hmm. <laughs> we heard that. We heard you, little birdie. Dupless, that's his name. Now let's get your name and body back from that meanie, and we'll teach him a lesson or two while we're at it. Yes, we will. Um. I think that's all we can do in here. Um, I think I'm actually going to end the episode off here. And in the next episode, we're going to confront front Dupless. So if you enjoyed this episode, consider hitting the like button. If you want to see the next episode and be notified of it, uh, hit the subscribe button. If um, you want to check out my uh, check out my friends, not Super Gamer and Sky Minigames, they will be in the end card along with the place to watch the entirety of Paper Mario Thousand Year Door, if that's when you, how you want to use your time. Um, and I think that's it. So I will see you guys next time. See ya.